1.5 kilogram division for a contest between boxers from Mauritius and Morocco. Well, here is the evergreen Louis Ricciano Colleen, 36 years of age from Mauritius. And this man, well, what he hasn't seen, what he hasn't accomplished in the sport of boxing really isn't worth mentioning. A terrific servant of the Olympic style code. So much experience under his belt. Yeah, been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. And this man, well, he's no slouch in the experience ranks either. Part of a full-strength, maximum-sized Moroccan boxing team, Abdul Haq Nadir, competed at the World Championships this year in Tashkent, as did Luis Ricciano Colleen. They're the five scoring judges who will score this one. Luis Ricciano Colleen, a three-time Olympian. And his first one coming way back in 2008 didn't make it through to Rio but 2008 2012 and Tokyo 2020 three Olympic appearances under the belt of the estimable Luis Ricciano Colleen and he comes to the ring as the African continental silver medalist having picked up a silver medal at the Commonwealth Games last year outpointed in the gold medal bout by Scotland's Reese Lynch in the final of what was a very entertaining affair. So we're underway then, 63.5 kilogram action between two boxers who are incredi incredibly experienced Oof. and have lots of ability. Luis Ricciano Colleen in red, scoring to both head and body in the first 15 seconds of this opening round. The bustling figure wearing blue is Abdul Haq Nadir of Morocco. African continental bronze medalist from the event in Yonde, Cameroon earlier this summer. Beautiful left hand to the body once again, followed by a right hand from Colleen. I think the left hook of Colleen could be a finishing shot on this one. Well, Hack Nadir scored upon with a right hand to the body once again. Good left hook to the body from Abdul Hack Nadir. And again, oh. the tactic set, beautiful punch picking while holding his feet. So he's not running, Colleen, planting his feet on occasion. This is box punching from Colleen, but Abdul Haq Nadir, when he does hold his feet and come square on the ropes like that, that's where Nadir will look to make hay. Yeah, it's a Nadir's really intriguing contest. Nadir's right there with him. for rabbit punching for the deer. Good work to both head and body from the deer. You can see he coming forward on flat feet, looking to walk his man down. Colleen keeping the movement going, terrific left hand to the body, then dipping to evade the attempted counter from the deer. Wonderful portion of the round for the man in red. Can he keep the movement going against this incessant front foot pressure fighter? Right hand around the corner wasn't too far away from Nadir. Two minutes gone in an action-packed opening round. My goodness. Nadir's not letting his man off the hook. Nadir, 30 years of age, beautiful left hook from Colleen. And dodging laterally in a counterclockwise oh, fashion. Another chin again. checker of a left hook. Swivels the head of Abdul Haq Nadir, who continues to press but one suspects that he has been shaken up by that shot because he didn't see it coming. The reddening around his left temple and eye because Colleen flowing beautifully in this opening round. It's the ones that you don't see that hurt the most. Well, we said that there's a reddening around the right eye of Nadir and you can see that he's being cut. Now, the referee bumping her knuckles together and that is an indication that this cut is being caused by an accidental clash of heads. If the fist is placed into an open palm, that's an indication that the injury has been caused by a punch. So in the event that this injury causes the bout to be stopped, we will go to the scorecards and the portion of the round where the bout is stopped will be scored as Nadir looks for a right hand over the top, but he's picked off by a series of straight punches between his gloves from Colleen. 
pound to left hook was a check shot, but then Nadir with a right hand, furious finish to this opening round. Nadir planting his feet into the canvas and swinging for the fences. What an opening incident filled three minutes between these two experienced operators. Nadir really needs to keep his hand glued to his face because the way that Colleen is throwing this left, left hook, it could be, it could be lights out at any round, in any round. Yeah, terrific punch picking exhibited by both men, but for what it's worth, I think that Colleen was the governor in that opening round against an operator as experienced as Nadir. It's never going to be one way traffic, but I think he was the clearly superior boxer in terms of success that he enjoyed, quality of punch and the consistency with which he was able to find the range compared to the man in blue. Let's take a look at the judges' scorecards. And he's taken it on a 3-2 split. Well, that's closer than I would have anticipated, but Abdul Haq Nadir right there with him. And the judges enjoying his front foot pressure, judges four and five. It's going to be an interesting second round. So into the second round we go. Abdul Haq Nadir picked up an injury in the first round that was caused by an accidental clash of heads around his right eye there's a left hook of the lead variety from nadir and again at 36 years of age will colleen be able to keep the movement going that served him so well in the opening round because you know that nadir is going to continue to adopt this this posture for as long as the contest remains in action Nadir just freezing through an open mouth, and you see at that type of territory was Colleen's jab that was more effective. This is where Nadir wants to work away, but he's being prevented from doing so by the clever tactics of Colleen tying him up at close range. So Colleen dodging, darting counterclockwise once again. He'll want to put some offense behind that so he doesn't get accused of running or a potentially negative display by the judges. A real purpose behind that jab there. He takes an altogether stiffer left jab from Nadir. And again, the point scoring punches have been comparatively few in this second round compared to the first. And given that Nadir was only edged in the first by a 3 2 split, well, he could have well have taken the first half of this second round. And of course, it's a three minute stanza. Colleen just looking to be more economical with his movement now. Not the extravagant dodging and darting, holding his feet, right hand to the body, not too far away. Nadir, he not incessantly over the front foot as he was in the opening round. So both boxers perhaps managing their energy levels, just taking a little bit of a breather comparatively before looking to launch a big finish to conclude this round and indeed the contest in the next round if it goes that far. Yeah, definitely. Nadir just trying to hold his ground a little bit more. He's not... Yeah, this type of posture, I would have given the fact, the amount I've commentated on both of these men, I would have thought that type of distance and tempo suits Colleen more. But he's really not taking advantage and the punch output has dropped noticeably by both men because they put an awful lot into the first three minutes. And Nadir, who's known looking to turn pretty much everything he contests into a close quarter street fight here boxing at mid and long range beautiful movement by colleen once again he scores with a bolo left hand to the body a 10 second clapper sounds so perhaps something of an unexpected round in this second frame for the majority of it colleen doing a good job maintaining the gap he took the first on a three two split where i thought it perhaps merited a little bit wider of a margin than that but given that the punch output dropped both men more circumspect in their approach how will the second round be scored yeah Nadia's just been following Colleen around the ring instead of cutting him off pinning him into a corner so that he can land his shots and Colleen's done really well just moving around the ring throwing the odd occasional pot shot holding when necessary keeping out of danger so Luis Ricciano Colleen take edging being edged in the third round on a 3-2 split so we've got four scorecards 
That's 2018 for two judges. 2018 and 19. So it's all come down to this third and final round between two familiar adversaries. This is it. Who wants it more? So into the third and final round we go. Mention the fact that Luis Ricciano Colleen bidding for his fourth Olympic berth and in his most recent Olympic appearance in Tokyo in the summer of 2021. He was eliminated by this man in the first preliminary round on a 4-1 split. Who will take a step closer to another Olympic appearance here? It's incredibly close. It's all coming down to the third and final round. Colleen took the first round on a 3-2 split. Nadia took the second round on a 3-2 split. And so this final three minutes, my goodness, it's on a knife edge. Yeah, I really don't know which way this is going to go. Oh, oh, that's a beautifully picked lead right hand from Colleen. And a left jab, catching the advancing Nadia. Another right hand success, right uppercut, catching the bustling boxer in blue. Rough on the inside, heads rubbing together vigorously at close quarters. Oh, terrific one-two combination, followed by a left hook, which was blocked by the right glove of Nadir. Nadir trying to quicken his feet. And again, these two experienced boxers will know more than anybody how close this contest is. They'll have a sense of that, of that irrespective of what's on the scorecards. You find oh. it a hip toss, sending both boxers tumbling to the canvas. But I do find it surprising that Nadir is adopting the old school Cuban tactic of celebrating single shot successes because his best posture is when he throws punches in bunches, lets his hands go and applies unrelenting pressure. By attempting to pot shot his way to success, he could well be playing into the wheelhouse of Luis Ruchano Colleen. Oh. There he lands a beautiful half hook, half uppercut with his left hand off the back foot, Colleen. I think this is a really risky approach being taken by Nadir, but again, incredibly experienced operator on the global stage. Left hook is a solid shot clumped home by Nadir. Beautiful left hook. Colleen has got to be careful that he's, he's got to put enough potency on the punches that they're registered as scoring shots and not just taps. Here he did with a right cross a few moments ago, followed it by a slapping right hand a few seconds later. There's evidence of the cut right eye picked up by Nadir earlier in the contest. Again, beautiful movement to make his man miss, but there you see both men performing semaphore and not really looking to score as the clock continues to tick. Contest has to be in the balance here now, and a moment of eye-catching quality could well be decisive for either man. And there's a right hand over the top, landed by the Moroccan boxer wearing blue. And then he gets busy, ending that trade-off with a shot to the body. Since we suggested a moment of quality could be decisive, it's Nadir who's had the upper hand. Quickens his feet once again, looking to take it to Colleen, who's maintaining the gap. Nadir saying, stand and fight. Oh. So I think that's a really risky approach taken by the boxers in the third and final round. And given the way the final 20 seconds or so have played out, I think it's this man who may well have done enough to edge it. But what say the judges? Colleen, I thought, boxed beautifully in the first round. He took it on a 3-2 split. Could well have merited more than that. This man came back to take the second round on a 3-2 split. And in the final round, where again the scoring punching activity was comparatively low, it was Nadir for my money who finished the contest in stronger fashion. Now, where will the scores be distributed? How will they be distributed? But that could well be enough to tilt the balance in his favor. But what say the five scoring judges? Colleen thinks he has done enough. So too Nadir. This verdict is likely to be split. Which way is it going to go? I really think Colleen did enough. And it's Colleen! Colleen, a split decision victor, leaving Nadir in disbelief, but a 3 2 verdict in favor of Luis Ricciano Colleen, turning the tables on the man who eliminated him from the Tokyo Olympic Games two summers ago. And Luis Ricciano Colleen takes another step closer to an incredible fourth Olympic appearance.
Remember, he needs to finish in the final to progress through to Paris 2024. He needs to win it, excuse me. So he's still two wins away. But my goodness, he's got through this one by the skin of his teeth against his familiar adversary, Abdul Hak Nadir. Yeah, I definitely think Colleen just, just did a, a, enough for me to, to scrape that last round. But let's see what the scorecards say. He's taken it unanimously. Wow. But look at how close it was. A 3-2 split. 29-28 twice for Nadir. And 30-27 twice. And 29-28 for Luis Ricciano Colleen. A very close call.